to all voters, whether you're Democrat or Republican, if I could just have a few minutes of your time, I'd like to appeal to your immediate humanity and hope I'm not too late to reach out to you. As you have many candidates to choo choose from, we cannot have another commander-in-chief following in our current president's footsteps. Please, I implore you, Hillary, Hillary Clinton is not a candidate for president as she wishes to follow our current president's footsteps. To my understanding, the majority of her followers are older. Well, let me appeal to you as one being on Social Security myself. This is the third time during the Obama administration that we haven't got a cost of living raise. And why, you ask? Because of Social Security cuts. But that didn't stop our premiums from going up, let alone groceries and other household items. And a little further research I've done, there won't be a cost of living raise in 2017. Is this the person you want run, run, running our country? And Obamacare. Is your spouse younger than you? On Social Security, you're tax exempt. Therefore, you may be covered, but there is no coverage for your younger spouse. If you don't pay taxes, besides short term insurance, you have nothing. I've spent months listening to horror stories on YouTube and the internet. I'm not one to judge so quickly so I did my research and they're all true. I don't want to bore you so I'll try to make this as brief as possible. First, going back to the early 70s, Watergate and Nixon. Watergate, when Nixon was impeached Hillary was fired from the, from the investigation for lying and unethical practices. A lot of people want to vote for her on women's rights. She's for women's rights. How about that 14 year old little girl's rights as Hillary Clinton was her rapist attorney can be heard laughing and get about getting him off on a technicality. The scandals on the Clinton Foundation donations and favors well I can neither deny or confirm those. But Hillary, I divorced my wife the first time I caught her cheating on me. Whew. I get winded a little easy, so I can confirm the Iran deal in her own words. I made a mistake. And Megazi, she knew weeks ahead of time they were in imminent danger and left those people there to die. Her first words, again, I made a mistake. Yet the investigation, the horrific words of Hillary Clinton, four people are dead. What difference at this point does it make now? Come on. Now she testifies. I don't believe that. Four people are dead. At this point, what difference does it make now? The, the horrific words. Uh, I don't know. Sounds like something someone would say after they're sentenced to death row. At this point, what difference does it make now? And... I don't know, I'm at a loss for words over that. I feel remorse for those people when they could have been helped. And she made a mistake. Now the email scandals again. Her first words, I made a mistake. The last of which they won't even release to the public because they were classified beyond top secret. And then I see her on TV and I would like to appoint my predecessor to the Supreme Court. Hell yes, I would too. So I wouldn't be prosecuted. 
Let me ask you this question. How many more of her mistakes can we make? Please take a moment to reflect over the last eight years. For you younger voters, what's in store for your future? The older voters, what's in store for your future? Or your kids or your grandkids? We must take back this country. Whether you're a Democrat or Republican, there are a lot of good candidates. We got to take back this country, not follow in those footsteps that were made in the last eight years. I hope I'm not too late, too late, to implore you again, young or old, Democrat or Republican. There are many great candidates for president besides Hillary Clinton. For if Hillary Clinton is elected, as our country goes to hell, you'll be the one saying, at this point. What difference does it make now?